I want to find out now phi inverse of 0.25. It's inverse, so I should look for 0.25 over here. Clear? Now, the difficulty arises because of this point. This table is starting from 0.5. All other values are beyond 0.5, but I am looking for 0.25. 0.25 is smaller than this, so definitely I won't find that number over here. So now what I need to do is, I need to make 0.25 greater than 0.5. And how we do that? This method. What we do is, Inside we do 1 minus of this value whatever we have it here and outside you should put a negative sign. It's a rule. So now it is negative phi inverse of 1 minus 0.25 is 0.75. Now this is greater than 0.5. Now I can get phi inverse of 0.5 over here. Okay. This value is smaller than 0.5. To make it greater than 0.5, what am I doing is inside 1 minus. Whenever inside you are doing 1 minus, outside you should put the negative sign. Okay. Now, phi inverse of 0.75. 0.75 over here will lie between these two. So that is 0 0.7486. 0 0.75 lie between these two, we take the smaller one. So this is present at 0 0.6 and 7th place. We are looking for 0 0.75. We have this. More we need to add 14 to this such that this gets converted to 0 0.75. Okay. So look for 14 in the same row. I don't have exact 14 so I take the smaller one 13. 13 is present at 4. So that 4 will be the third decimal. Okay. To get this third decimal, we see what number needs to be added to this such that it gets converted to this one. Okay. I want to find out now phi inverse of 0 0.125. It's phi inverse. So we need to look for this value over here. The difficulty is the value start with 0 0.5. So this needs to be converted to greater than 0 0.5. And how we do that means by subtracting it from 1. So whenever we are subtracting z value, 1 minus of that, outside you should put a negative sign. It's a rule. So that becomes phi of, so minus phi inverse of 1 minus 0 0.125 will become 0 0.875. Now look for 0 0.875 in this table. Clear? This value smaller than 0 0.5. To make it more than 0 0.5, what we do is we do 1 minus. Whenever we are doing 1 minus inside, outside, you should put the negative sign. It's a rule. Okay. Now, where do we see closer to 0 0.875 over here? 87. Yeah. 8.75 will lie between these two. I take the smaller number. That is 0 0.8749. This is present for 1.1 and 5. To decide the third decimal, I should get 0 
8750 that means more i need to add 1 to this so in the same row look for 1 so 1 we don't have so no other option we go with 2 2 is present for 1 so our answer will be minus 1.151 for phi inverse of 0 0.125 okay i want to find out now phi inverse of 0 0.032 it is inverse so this value should be searched here now the problem is the values over here begin with 0 0.5 so this should be made greater than 0 0.5 how can we do that by subtracting it from 1 okay whenever inside we are subtracting the value from 1 outside you should put the negative sign so now this becomes minus 5 inverse of 1 minus this will be 0 0.032 9 9 10 it's 8 6 9 so now i need to find phi inverse of 0 0.968 so look for 968 over here 96 8 9 6 8 will lie between these two so we take the smaller one which is 0 0.9678 this is present for 1.8 and 5 now to this i should add more 2 only then this gets converted to 0 0.968 okay for me to get the third decimal i should see what should be added to this such that it becomes 0 0.968 so look for 2 in the same row 2 is present for 3 so third decimal will be 3 so our answer is minus 1.853 okay now i need to find out phi inverse of 0 0.46 here it is inverse so i should look for 0 0.46 over here now the problem is the values here start with 0 0.5 this is smaller than 0 0.5 for this to become more than 0 0.5 what we do is we should do 1 minus 0 0.46 whenever we are doing 1 minus inside to the inside value outside we should put negative sign so that will result in minus phi inverse of 1 minus 0 0.46 is 0 0.54 it's inverse so look for 0 0.54 over here so that is present at okay that is present between these two so we take the smaller one so that is 0 0.5398 this is present for 0 0.1 and second decimal will be this zero to select the third decimal to this more i should add 2 such that this becomes 0 0.54 so i should look for 2 in the same row so 2 is pre 2 is not we don't have 2 don't take 4 instead keep it 0 then so the answer that we get is minus 0 0.100 okay
I want to find out phi inverse of 0 0.15. Phi inverse. So this value should be searched over here. Now the problem is here the values are starting with 0 0.5 and more than 0 0.5. I don't see 0 0.15 over here. For this to become greater than 0 0.5, what we do is we do, we subtract it from 1. Whenever to the inside value we are subtracting from 1, outside you should put the negative sign. So now it becomes minus phi inverse of 0 0.85. Now this value is greater than 0 0.5, I can look for it in the table. So where do you see close to 0 0.85? That lies between these two, which is 0 0.8485. This is present at 1.0 and for the second decimal, this is present at 3. And for the third decimal, here it is 8.5, I should get 8, here it is 8.485, I should get 0 0.85. So to this, I should add more 15, only then this gets converted to this one. So look for 15 in the same row. So same row, 15 is present, oh, we don't have 15. So we take smaller value that is 14. 14 is present for 6. So that will become your third decimal. So your answer is minus 1.036. Okay.